It was a dreadful day for Kenny Dillingham and the Arizona State football program as they were notified early Sunday morning by Athletic Director Ray Anderson that ASU will self-impose a one-year postseason ban for the upcoming 2023 season. And with just four days left until the Sun Devils take the field for the first time here at Mountain America Stadium, the news was nothing short of heartbreaking. Control us. I mean, I knew today would be shitty. I mean, they received horrible news on a Tuesday practice in the morning before uh, we meet for special teams. So to think that 18 and 22 year olds are gonna go out and have a good Tuesday practice is absolutely delusional. But I think the guys battled, the guys did the best they could do. It's terrible, it sucks. I mean, for all the guys that have worked their tails off from summer to spring to here, I mean, it, it sucks. And you know, we, it's just, again, it's something we can't control. Um, I don't think that should kill the culture though. At the end of the day, we have the same guys in the room, you know, that are gonna grind and compete every week. You know, this, we were talking about today, like obviously we had a little bit of a terrible, bad practice. And you know, if you're not gonna fight for anything, or if you don't have anything to work for, at least fight for the dudes that have been out here working every day. Yeah, you know, I gotta keep guys going, but for those of us that were on the team last year, this season has enough meaning. Uh, there's a lot of people that we gotta play, a lot of people we gotta get back, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not necessarily worried about uh, the bowl game or a championship. We play all those same teams this year, and I'm just ready to, to play football and compete. The ban comes amidst a long, ongoing investigation into recruiting violations made by the former ASU coaching staff, headed by Herm Edwards, who parted ways with the program just three games into last season. Yet it is the new coaches and the 50-plus players they recruited, as well as the near 20 veterans on the roster playing in their final year of college football, who are left paying a portion of the larger price waiting to be handed down. And what I just told the team is nobody cares about your circumstance. In reality, most people in life would rather see other people fail so they don't have to work hard and actually work hard enough to beat them. So if people are looking at us and they're satisfied, they're singing for joy, they're excited because they think there's no way Arizona State football is going to be able to keep their mindset to compete. And that's the challenge is it's us versus us every day. As difficult as it will be for the Sun Devils to overcome this devastating news, Dillingham will try to quickly motivate his squad ahead of Thursday's season opener against Southern Utah. Reporting from Tempe, Blake Neiman, Cronkite Sports.